Hi everyone, Morgan Rieger here. I just wanted to make a quick video to share with you what I consider to be three of the most uh, important characteristics of a successful Beachbody coach and to actually show you um, my personal examples of what these three things have done for me and my business in the past. Um, how long have I coached for? About 20 months now. Um, so here we go. The three things that I consider to, um, to basically be the reason why my business has been successful and how I grew a six-figure income in a matter of a year and I've officially um, tripled my full-time teaching income at this point. The characteristics are patience, a lot of patience, consistency, and hard work. And those three things put together are guaranteed to bring you success over time. The biggest problem I see in coaches that aren't successful in this business or don't feel like they're successful because everybody's um, gauge of what success is is different is because they gave up on one of these three things. They did not give it enough time they were not consistent, consistent, even though perhaps they thought they were, and they weren't willing to put in the hard work. If you are a beach body coach, you know this is not a get rich quick scheme. Um, I consider this to be my passion and my career. And when I look at what I put into my teaching career, which was five years of university, thousands and thousands of dollars, um, investing into this education to build me a career, that is how I think of Beachbody. Um, I was willing to dedicate five years to learn the business. I wasn't willing to dedicate thousands and thousands of dollars, but thankfully I didn't, you don't need to with Beachbody. But if you learn to think of it that way, it's really going to change your mindset and I promise you, you're going to see success. Um, to build a teaching income, you know, I was making about $1,000 a week. That took thousands of dollars and five years of university. Um, and thankfully, you know, Beachbody, I haven't even been in it for five years. So I couldn't ima imagine five years down the road if I was just to learn everything about Beachbody, um, you know, and teaching. Obviously, I wasn't making an income at all for those five years. So please, please, please focus on changing your mindset um, and the success will come. If you are patient, if you are consistent and you are working hard and you're not giving yourself the excuse, woe is me, this business is definitely going to pay off for you. So I'm going to share some examples with you from my personal experience. So... Um, I joined the business in July of 2013 with just me. It was me on my team and that was it. Um, my family thought I was a little crazy, but I have used Beachbody products for about 10 years. My sister or ordered Turbo Jam a long time ago and loved it. And I actually ended up using it more than her, um, working out in my basement. So I love the products, decided to become a coach. I won't go into that whole story. That's not what this, um, trainings for but it was me and now it's April 2015 and our team officially consists of about 1500 coaches. Uh, do I know how that happened? Specifically no. Um, I was patient, I was consistent and I worked really hard and our team grew and the resolution effect took place. So everybody especially you know me, you, every top coach is in the exact same place as any no coach ever will be with just them. And in time, your team will grow. And specifically, everybody grows at a different pace, right? Just like university. Some people are done in a year. Some people are done in 10. Some people are done in five. All right, volume growth. This is where it took a lot of patience. Volume is something that grows rather slowly. Um, so... The thing to keep in mind is Beachbody has the incredible power of the resolution effect. Beachbody, your volume is, and your income is an exponential thing. If you don't know what an exponential graph looks like, it is. it starts off 
very level, very slow. There's no growth. And then all of a sudden, there's a point where the cur where it starts to curve upwards, and then it ends up going straight up. So it's exponential growth. So that is where the patient's consistency and hard work come into play. They come into play in that time where there's not a lot of growth. And that's where you need to work on your personal development and be confident in what you're doing and persevere when that growth is slow because you know in the future it's going to pay off. So as you can see, I've got my 20 months listed here and my business is lined up so that I have a strong leg and weak leg. Everybody's business is, is very different, so um, don't dive into this too deep, but this is just to show you how the volume goes. So as you can see, it took me nine months to just to get to a thousand volume on my weak leg. And let me tell you, it felt like forever. I worked so hard. Actually, I worked so hard to get it to 500 and then so hard to get it to 1,000. And I'm like, oh my gosh, my goal is 10,000, but it so, looks so far away. Um, but as you can see, it took me nine months to get to 1,000. And it took me about nine months to increase that by tenfold. So if you can just think, these are three month increments, okay? So, you know, I went up by 100, I went up by 150, I went up by um, 750, I went up by 2,500, then almost doubled. Um, you know, this is just to show you that, yes, it's true, you start off slow and it goes from there and it's only up from there. So that's the volume growth. Income growth definitely tails along with your volume because most of your income is coming from your volume, from your team volume and your team cycles. Um, so at this point, I'm just tracking, I've showed you my first business center only. So month one, these are my weekly averages. I took the four weeks out of the month and divided it by four to give you a weekly average. The month one, I made about $92. And keep in mind, in the beginning, it was mostly all commission. And as you can see in the bright blue box, my commission has not changed. I don't sell a ton. Um, I'm always bringing in new people to help, but it's not like I keep selling more and more. That stays the same. It's the team cycles helping my team succeed. That's increased, the volume increase. So month one was around $92. Then it got into the hundreds. At the one year mark, I was able to break the $1,000 mark, and that was officially when I matched my teaching income. And now I'm almost clearing the $3,000 mark. That's by myself, just in my first business center. So that's almost three times my full-time teaching income. Um, at month 12, I was actually able to get my boyfriend, Stephen, um, his business to Emerald so he could start to get team cycles. So he started off about $100 a week, but now he makes about $500. So that's my first business center plus his. And then actually at month 15, my first business center hit the rank of two star diamond. So at that point, you're actually able to open up a second business center. So you can open up you under you. Um, so that started from scratch, just like my first business center. Um, it's now earning about $200 um, a week and it's almost at a diamond coach. Um, so that will be great. So combined, you know, we make that 2865 plus 500 plus 200 so we're well over the three thousand dollar mark right now and that seems absolutely crazy yes but keep in mind i started at zero dollars at 92 dollars and um, i didn't give up at month one because i thought heck to this i'm only making 92 dollars this is such a joke uh no my first month of university I owed $3,000, so that was crazy. Um, this was $92, heck, that paid for my cell phone bill, and um, yeah, I will take it. I'm on Facebook helping people get in good shape, and I'm becoming a better person myself, plus I earned $92. I mean, seriously, <laughs> I see nothing wrong with that. I don't know why anybody would ever be frustrated with that. Um, so yeah, that's the income growth from patience, consistency, and um, hard work.
So to break that down just a little bit more for you, these are paychecks and hopefully you know um, kind of what those look like. So at the top, um, these are the first two paychecks that we got in April of 2014. I had been coaching already for about nine months. Um, you can see my first business center earned about 463 and most of that was still from commission. Steven was at zero dollars. And then I pulled um, our first paycheck from April 2015 was just recently. My first business center was around 2700 and most of that was from my team. I actually only had $64 in commission. Um, Steven's Business Center had about $590, and most of that was from Team Cycles. And my second Business Center was just $42, but that was just from my team. So I went from about $463 um, as nine months as a coach in a week to about $3,379 um, as a coach in a week. So a 628% increase in a year. And if I compared that to the increase I would have got as a teacher moving from my first year to second year, um, actually, I think I got, I would have gotten an increase. I don't teach anymore, if you don't know me. Um, I sub once in a while, but thankfully Beachbody allowed me to step away and have the freedom in my life that I was looking for. Um, but let me tell you, it would not be a 628% increase. <laughs> All right. So future potential, there is way more potential out there than these paychecks. There's other money out there that um, you don't, you may not even know about yet. One of the main things is a quarterly bonus. So once you become a two-star diamond coach, that's when these start to happen. So it's something to push forward down the road. Now, um, two-star coaches, so these quarterly bonuses are given out um, four times a year, obviously, and um, a certain percentage of the Beachbody sales are set aside for these coaches, and it's divvied up um, per how many coaches, how many two-stars there are, how many five-stars, et cetera, et cetera. So a two-star coach um, could earn anywhere. There, it depends on what the numbers are, right? So it could range, and then you see the five-star, the 10-star, and yeah, the 15-star, like $30,000 every quarter. Um, some people only earn that a year so it's pretty crazy and actually so say you were a 10 star coach you actually get the 10 star bonus the five star bonus and the two star bonus so you get all of them so if you're a 15 star you get all four of those bonuses yeah hard to fathom right pretty amazing and another bonus there is is called the elite bonus so if becoming an elite coach um, for 2015 is your goal, I was actually a 2014 elite coach. There's tons of extra bonuses um, about being an elite coach. You need to be five star and a certain number of points. So you can look that up um, in the FAQ, what that all involves. There's a $500 a month bonus as well for that. So don't think just the money that's coming on your paycheck or if you're a brand new coach that commissions are the only way to earn. As you have patience and give it time, more there are more opportunities to earn more. So where should your focus be in this business? I am a big picture thinker. Um, I do not focus on the teensy little things that I have no control over because that is not what's going to grow my business. That's not what's going to allow me success. That's not what's going to bring me happiness. I put my blinders on and focus on the things that matter. I focus on the vital behaviors, the three vital behaviors. I focus on my daily power hour. I focus on me and my personal growth and learning. I follow other coaches. I watch YouTube training videos. I do not rely on my upline coach. My upline coach is Lindsay Matway. And I have barely talked to her actually at all. Um, we talk once in a while, but my training has essentially been what I've done, which is the great thing about Beachbody. Um, everything is there to be successful, everything. It doesn't matter who your team is, who your upline coach is. Yes, some teams have more available than others, um, different families, different vibes, but everything is there for everyone to succeed. So you need to take it on yourself. I was very consistent since the day I started coaching. Ladies and gentlemen, I have not missed a single day of my power hour. If I was going away and couldn't get on my computer that day, I planned ahead of time. What was I going to do? 
Um, I've never missed a national wake up call. I've never missed a bombshell call. Um, I don't listen to them live all the time, but I'll make sure I listen to the recordings a few days later whenever I can. I never miss my power hour. Always, always, always fit in my power hour. I always check my messages once a day. Um, some people might think this crazy, but it's easy. It's easy to do and it's easy not to do. So if consistency means sort of running your business three, four days a week, those are the kind of results you get. You're going to get sort of results. It's just like weight loss. If you half-ass your workouts and half-ass your nutrition, you're going to get half-ass results. And that's exactly the way this business works. If you are just looking for this to be a hobby, great. Then you can run it like a hobby. But if you want this to pay you like a full-time job, you need to run it like a full-time job. For example, in university, university was my full-time job. I was paying for it. It was going to get me my career. So I attended classes for eight hours a day. I went home and studied for three or four hours every night. That was my job. So yes, lots of you might have other full-time jobs just like I did. I did my first year of coaching along with my first year of teaching all in one. I woke up an hour earlier to do my power hour. I went to school for the full day. I came home and worked out and that was my day. I made it work because I was willing to sacrifice a little bit at the beginning to be successful in the future. And I was patient. Never, ever, ever did it cross my mind that this isn't working for me. I'm going to quit because I was in it for the long haul. I know how long I was in university to be a teacher, to perfect that craft, which wasn't even perfected after five years. I know how long it takes to lose weight and get in shape. I know how long it takes to change your eating habits. So why on earth would I ever think that this should be quick? No, I knew this was going to take time, so I was willing to be patient and learn and make mistakes and improve, and um, that's what you need to focus on, and the fact that I was never giving up. I read somewhere that um, if you can go three days without thinking about something, then you can consider giving up on it. So when I thought about that in Beachbody, I can't not think about it for three minutes. It's brought so much happiness and positivity into my life um, that I just couldn't imagine ever giving up on it. If somebody told me they had to take away my workouts and my Shakeology and the coaches I've met, um, I would be absolutely devastated. Um, Absolutely devastated. So never giving up was just that. So if I can, obviously I've given you the tips that you need to be consistent, patient, and work hard, never giving up. But please, please, please realize that what you put into this is what you're going to get out of this. Nobody can build a successful business for you. Um, This is your business. Your coaches can guide you. Your team can guide you. They can become your family. But you are responsible for your vital behaviors. You're responsible for going out there and helping people. You're responsible for listening to the national wake-up call and learning and growing. Um, Because like I said, this is your business. Your success depends on what you do, not what anybody else does. Nobody can do anything for you. It's all about what you do. You have the power to build this into something absolutely incredible. So never pull the woe is me card, never pull the excuses card. There are successful coaches from every single walk of life um, in this business. So if you can put in what it takes, anybody can truly be successful. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please contact me and have a wonderful day. Love y'all.